We're here on the Taos Mesa, not too far from Taos, New Mexico. We are the artists of the new sculpture Capsule that you can find in Arroyo Seco. And I want to introduce the amazing Christina Sparong. And the incredible Christian Risto. So this one is a joint piece and it's the first one we've done together. And so the design process was, you know, riffing off each other and giving each other the same amount of space and then building it together, which was a joy because we were so good at doing what we do and we just worked in the shop really easily. I thought that part was awesome, like maybe the best part. You know, it was a tight time frame and one of the very first things you need to do in a situation like this is order steel and because of where we live that can be a little bit of a slow process so we felt a lot of pressure to finalize the design mm. everything kind of was working backwards from this deadline that we had in mind that we were trying to hit that translated to this funny situation which was like when we were done when the sculpture was finally done and installed christina and i both stepped back we were like we were both like huh <laughs> that's a, that's that's interesting. Almost that's like it was an interesting the first sculpture. time looking at it. Yeah, it was. It was. Which uh, it was. It was the first time we were looking at it. Yeah. it was, and it, but it was this kind of like baby that we like rushed through pregnancy and. And then like da da, and you're like, ah, yeah. oh, cool. We have a child together, so we have a deep skill set as far as like working together, and compromising and pitching ideas to each other and knowing how to communicate with each other as far as like finding the right middle ground and the right balance. I think every couple has that. At the end of the day, I think the sculpture actually was stronger because Christina brought a lot of ideas to the build that I never would have thought of. And I think I brought ideas to the build that Christina never would have thought of. And there are a lot of layers to the piece. There's a lot of depth to the piece that I think reflects a lot of these different perspectives that Christina and I both bring to the process. Yeah, I would agree. The sculpture is is in response to the time, this unusual time we're living in, and we and to kind of like reflect and harness the community's experience with it, the good, the bad, and the ugly, the silver lining. Be able to write it down, put it inside this you know capsule, this kind of time capsule, and at some point we'll burn these notes and they will set a bunch of wood on fire and the hands will open exposing this new way of looking. So the metaphor here is just that it's about transformation, how this time of removal of the things that we took for granted is leading us into maybe a deeper way of seeing what we really need and want and how we want to move forward in our lives and in the future. It has felt really rewarding to build something for this community. Yeah, that's another first. That's a, that's a first. That was another Usually first. Usually we build for things us. for for far away far festivals, away festivals or whatever, festivals or, and people with a shit ton of money. And this has been just really nice to do something good for our community and feel the love come around. So yeah, it's been really gratifying. The fun part about this sculpture is uh, interacting with it. So do yourself a favor and go out to Arroyo Seco and write a note and put it in there. Uh, experience the sculpture for yourself or you can or you can check it out <laughs> online if you're homebound on Instagram at Capsule Taos and on Facebook Capsule Taos and of course the website CapsuleTaos.com pretty amazing 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 <laughs>